Since 2009, 22 veterans have committed suicide every single day. Often when we go to our big cities, we see homeless vets on the streets, sometimes begging for money, sometimes just asking for help. And for people like us, that causes us great sorrow. We want to help these people so much because they have gave everything. They've gave, some of them gave them their lives, their time, given up time with their family to make sure that we are safe at night. In Colorado, there is a foundation called the House of Warriors. They are starting to become a big thing, and they are a wonderful, wonderful thing for vets. House of Warriors understands it can be difficult for some veterans to get back on their feet after they serve us. Sometimes they fall in the hardships of money. Most suffer from things such as PTSD and depression from things they've gone through in the war. And the House of Warriors is there to help provide them with the everyday needs to help. The goal of House of Warriors is to help guide direct homelessness at the risk for the at-risk military veterans and our first responders into self-sufficient status while providing a safe, caring, and lovely environment. They believe that every warrior deserves a hand up so they are equipped to handle modern society's fast-paced lifestyle. Early, I referenced a thing from... Uh, 22 veterans commit suicide daily since 2009. Military suicide, or the Military Veteran Project had a big article about this, how this is the highest rate in American history. According to them, this has been happening since 2009, and they believe they'll see an increase of this over time if the homelessness problem with vets does not get solved. So some ways that uh, House of Warriors is helping is that they're providing things such as bedding, food, transportation, uh, they even help furnish homes for vets who are on hard times. They have a mentor program to help vets who have maybe people who have gone through this process before and have gotten better to help mentor and let them know that they are, they are not there alone. They've also offered things such as resume writing and job assistance as this is a big thing. If they can help these vets get a job, it's the first step into getting better. They have something to work for. They can help get away with uh, paying bills. It's a big help. Now, as I said earlier about how we feel like, wow, how can I help these vets? Uh, according to their website, some of the things you can do to help is that you can donate used furniture to them. They help furnish these homes to these vets when they move back to give them a, hand, a head up, as they said earlier in their mission statement. Um, in Colorado, they have a resource center for these folks. Now, mostly they help Colorado vets as they are not that big of a foundation yet, but they hope to reach across the United States at some point. Uh, you can donate money to them there, and they will put your name on the side of their building showing that you have helped. Uh, even though this may be an arbitrary thing, the money helps them. They can help them pay for food, uh, transportation, like they said, you know, gas prices are high. You can sponsor a warrior. You can help them get in contact, help them pay for things. You know, it's a very good thing. Uh, you can even host an event where you can have uh, an event where they can all come together and talk, you know, maybe help each other through some things. So a uh, restatement of my thesis would be House of Warriors really helps these veterans get the help they need. They need it very badly in Colorado. They've, had, uh, they've helped 1,400 people already, which is an awesome thing. And as I said, although we cannot help these vets sometimes ourselves, maybe we feel helpless, like where can I go to help them, you know, maybe buy them some food. But in the long run, where does that really get them? Uh, programs like House of Warriors helps these folks the way that they need to be helped. Um, you know, in my eyes, the House of Warriors gives the most to the ones who gave the most for us. Thank you for listening to my persuasive speech, and I hope you have a nice day.